Les empreintes signalent. Les gens qui passent, ils connaissent mon travail, ils peuvent penser que dans cet espace où il y a des expositions, ils verront des empreintes de pinceau numéro 50 à intervalles de 30 cm. C'est le travail de peintre que je fais depuis toujours. Parce que comme je dis souvent, je ne me considère pas artiste, je suis peintre. Et même si c'est plus à la mode, je crois que la peinture a encore quelque chose à dire. Les artistes aussi sûrement. Mais c'est un autre domaine de plus en plus. Swiss Institute has been known for almost 30 years now for championing emerging artists. And at the same time, we've also been able to shed a new light on important artistic positions. We did that most recently with the work of Heidi Bura or the solo work of David Weiss. And we're very, very proud to open Nieli Toroni's first institutional exhibition in the U.S. in over 25 years. And in fact, his very first institutional exhibition in New York City. Nieli Toroni is a Swiss artist who was born in 1937. Since 1966, he remained committed to a working method, an application of a number 50 paintbrush at regular intervals of 30 centimeters. The exhibition spans over four decades of work. It's comprised of a series of 25 square paintings that are rarely seen hung in a continuous line. There is a roll on wax canvas, which comes from MoMA. It's a work from 1967, and it's the longest and one of the last rolls remaining. He installed the work, which is an imprint on seven sheets of paper from 2014, imprints on scrap paper that he assembled from 2000 and he did three site-specific interventions, an imprint in a line, an imprint in a square, and an imprint in a triangle. He applied his imprints in institutions throughout the world, galleries as well, but also on outdoor spaces, sometimes invited. I suppose sometimes not. <laughs> in 1978, he had a show at the Kunstadt of Bern. Bern as a city has a bear pit. Bear is the symbol of the capital of Switzerland, and he decided to do an imprint and throw it to the bear to play with. So the work is entitled A Bear Looking Closely at It. The imprint was painted on a roll, which he unrolled in the bear pit, and of course, sure enough, the bear attacked the work. And I guess like Toroni's attempt was to ask in a tongue-in-cheek tone, like what's left to see once the artwork has been destroyed by the bear is often asked why he keeps doing the same thing. And you have to understand that in his mind, it's never the same thing. It varies in shape, in width. It varies depending on the pressure that you apply on the paintbrush, the quantity of paint which you use, the color. And in that sense, he never does the same thing. Through his eyes, you get to understand the multitude of uh, scenarios that a simple paintbrush and a coat of pigment can offer. He could have done this exhibition 60 other ways, you know. Les empreintes sont là que pour ce qu'elles sont, comme des empreintes de pinceau numéro 50, c'est-à-dire un pinceau qui a simplement servi à laisser sa trace, sa forme. Donc c'est pas moi qui laisse mon empreinte, parce que mon empreinte, ça serait le pouce, c'est le pinceau, un outil pictural qui sert à travailler, qui pour une fois, au lieu de servir simplement pour suivre ce que veut faire l'artiste, a la chance de s'exprimer pour ce qu'il est. Et donc voilà, c'est une exposition pour moi de peinture et je suis content parce qu'elle se présente bien.